football is the greatest drama on earth. This is our stage, our theater. I was born into it, others were adopted, but we're all connected. If you don't believe we're family, you haven't felt what we felt. Agony, tension, heartbreak. But that moment, when it comes together just right, words cannot describe. But this isn't fiction. This is real life. Opportunity here. Here's the chance. Messi! First shot, first goal. This is it, guys. This is the first episode of my FIFA 15 Barcelona Crema series. This is episode number one and the first episode of a new series. So first of all, uh, check out the link down below to the intro. Uh, designer is pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, you'll find a link down below to his channel. Go subscribe to him because I know that you guys will go support him. Uh, so leave some likes on his new compilations and that kind of thing. But here we are with my new FIFA 15 Crema series. We are doing A1 with Barcelona and in this first transfer window, though I'll actually be signing no players. It was such a tough decision because I have got over £100 million as my finances, uh, which is so much money. And also, uh, the Global Transfer Network, you see there, my scout called Alberto, has already found three new players, Uche, Castro, and also Hernandez. But now, let's have a look at the team, the important part, and see how the team is looking. So the first word that comes to my mind when I see this team is, wow, this team is incredible. So we're going to start off in goal. We have got uh, Claudio Bravo, and also to Stegen on the bench as well, and also Massive. But this team's actually, it's actually tiny not only in height but also in how many players do I actually have I've only got uh, basically I've got all the subs but I've only got about six uh, players or five available players on the reserve as well and also Suarez I'll be definitely using as well but anyway back to the team now so we have got as I said Bravo in goal uh, we have got Jordi Alba playing as our left back and for me he is probably the best left back on career mode his stats are ridiculous also we've got Matthew and PK as our two centre backs uh, we have got Alves on the right side obviously I will have to look into a replacement as he's actually apparently unhappy at Barca in real life and also 31 years old as well so and that high attack and work rate also annoys me as well so uh, that's basically the reason I want to get the Siglio I think uh, probably in another season or two uh, but still Alves is a fantastic player for uh, to complete my defenders so we've got Busquets playing as a CDM in front of the two defenders uh, we've got Iniesta obviously the Illuminista uh, playing as the first of the two centre attacking midfielders he is incredible in this game apparently 30 years old and can also play as a left winger as well and also four star skill moves as well so on the other side we have got Rakitic so I'm a big fan of this guy I think he's got a big future at Barca as well uh, plays a cam a CM as well and also part of that amazing uh, Croatian uh, semi field as well alongside Modric who is absolutely fantastic as well uh, but again he's gonna be a fantastic player to use and probably gets probably 85 rated as well so on the right side we have got Pedro the man himself from Spain and he won't be playing too much as soon as uh, obviously Luis Suarez is back in the team but for now I've also got I think on the bench got Rafinha, Sandro, uh, Xavi as well but apart from that I am screwed on the right side of uh, my attack so in the middle we have got the one and only Leo Messi this guy is incredible in this game and I've actually used him a lot in the demo and again I've used him online as well and he is incredible this guy is by far and away the best player on this game apart from Pele but for me Messi he is the best player on this game. He's left footed as you guys know, 27 years old, 4 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot and also you see the specialities there but them stats are incredible. Uh, look at those, there's so many dark green stats and that is why he is so OP on this game. So to complete the team now guys, we have got the one and only Neymar. So this guy was fantastic for Brazil at the World Cup and he has got some incredible stats, star of the season world for Barca. But we all know the main reason why he's so good on FIFA. He has got five star score moves and also five star weak foot as well. And he just looks incredible and we'll get to at least 90 on, on career mode as well. Uh, so he's going to be fantastic to use. So 
And guys, for the bench as well, we got Munier, uh, the one, the kid who might go to Arsenal. Did actually sign him during my Arsenal Karima series. Uh, we've got Xavi as well, obviously uh, becoming or getting uh, closer to his latest stages of his career now. And probably will retire this year in this career mode as well. Uh, we've got Rafinha, obviously a young player, uh, 21 years old, can play cam, centre mid, right mid and right wing as well. And again, will be a good squad player. We've got Mascarano as well, we've got Stegen, Bartra, who does look a bit like me, I would admit, and also Adriano as well. So we've got uh, Vermaelen who's currently injured in real life. Uh, we've got Montoya, surprise, surprise, but Vermaelen as well. Uh, but yeah, Montoya, Roberto, uh, we've also got Masip, and we've also got Sandro. So that's a team. Now let's have a look at the shortlist. So guys, these are the list of the players I won't be buying in this first transfer window purely because I don't want to sign any new players in this transfer window. I want to keep it realistic, uh, but I will sign at least one of these players in the January transfer window. So I'm not going to talk about them too much. Hummels, first of all, obviously partner up with PK and will make basically the perfect defence in the world. I think we're the best defence in the world. Uh, Hummels is absolutely incredible. Uh, we've got Quadrado with the five star skill we see here. He is just incredible as well. Loved using him last year as well. Uh, so five star skill is going to make him a perfect player for this team. We've got Marco Royce as well. A bit unrealistic, you could say. Uh, but his contract is actually expiring at the end of this year in real life. Uh, so it could be a realistic target for maybe next summer. Uh, so we have got also Koke, who I think was actually a Barcelona youngster, went to Atletico Madrid, and now they want him back basically. So that's my shortlist. Now let's have a look at some of the players on loan. So guys, this is actually the players who are actually on loan at other teams around the world. So we first got Song on loan at West Ham. We got Tello on loan at Porto, and also Delafeo on loan at Seville. So out of these three players, I would love to have Delafeo at the team. Uh, because obviously I've only got one right wing at the team at the moment. So there you can see my objectives for the first year as Barcelona manager. So not only if I'm not going to buy any players until January, I have to win every single trophy basically I will play in this year. So I've got to win the cup, the domestic cup as well, and also the league as well. So that is basically impossible, right? Right guys, so we have now got the first game of the season. So this is actually a sim game in obviously a friendly as well. So I've actually picked a weak team for this as I don't want any players getting injured uh, before the start of the season. So let's have a look at some of the results from these sim games. So 1-0 win there, Rafinha with the goal. 2-1 loss to Crystal Palace. What the hell, Sandro getting the goal, but it's a loss. And finally a 1-0 win against uh, obviously Verona from uh, the Serie A. So Rafinha with the goal and showing some great early form. Guys, it is now time for the first game of the new league season. We've got Elche as the first game. And there guys is our starting 11. Basically, you can see this is basically the strongest 11 I have. And yeah, let's go into the first game and let's go off to a winning start. Hello and welcome to La Liga. Today it's Barcelona against Elche. Let's head straight to the Camp Nou, the floodlights shining down. There right, goes Messi, first attack. Back to Busquets, oh it's great tackle. Messi is there again. Oh, he's onside. It's Leo Messi, cut inside. It's Messi, oh it's gone in. Leo Messi with the goal. Look at that, Leo Messi, he is the man. He is a god on this game. Guys, we're expecting it to be quite an easy start to the league table. Uh, but obviously, whilst we have, obviously, when we get into the cup games, this team's going to tie really quickly because obviously I don't have many players. But for now, let's just enjoy it and try and score as many goals as possible. Matthew, you can't select him. Oh my god, that was not in the script, was it, guys? Elche have scored an equaliser. Matthew, man, what are you doing? Chance here for Elche. Iniesta's back there again. I'm not a big fan of Matthew, guys. I think he was, a, he was at fault for the first goal as well. I right, go on Messi, here we go, Neymar. There we go, right, he's found a way past him. Keep going Neymar, cut inside. Oh, unlucky. It's Leo Messi, it's Lionel Messi, keep going. Messi, oh, it's gone in. He is just a god, Lionel Messi. He's gonna score, I guarantee you guys, over 50 goals this year, because he is insane on this game. I just love this guy. What a player. Every time he's on the goal, look at this. this the goalkeeper has no chance. He is just fantastic at finishing, and he's just too OP, isn't he? Goalkeeper should have done better there, but Messi makes it 2-1. Get in there. It back to Iniesta. Right, let's find a run here. Good ball out to the wing to Dani Alves. I shouldn't be crossing it. What am I doing? Go on, Messi, though. Oh, my God. Guys, I know now I'm not going to cross at all this year because I've got Messi in the box. Right, oh, nearly. Rakitic has got it. Through the middle to Neymar, sweaty, oh my god, Neymar was offside though, but that nearly worked out. And Rakitic put in the springs as usual. There goes Messi, back to Xavi, it's Neymar in fact. Neymar, good save from the goalkeeper. Again, a chance to go two goals in front. Right, here goes Neymar again though. 
Right, inside. Let's go for the finesse shot. Neymar. Oh, my God. I expect better than Neymar. We'll just forget about that. Guys, we have got off to a winning start. It's a 2-1 win. Thanks to that man, Leo Messi. He is just the man. He is just a fantastic player. Guys, we've got off to a winning start. It's a 2-1 win against El Shea. A fantastic start. Uh, but, yeah, great start to this series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Can we smash the like button if you did enjoy the episode? And can we go for a record number of likes? I think that's over 2,000. Uh, so you guys have a massive target for today. Uh, but smash the like button if you enjoyed this first episode. As I said in the episode, if you want to check out the intro designer, go and check him out. There'll be a link down below and an annotation on screen. And also remember to subscribe for more of this Barca career mode as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, guys.